Hey Missilians, it's Jason Haas with the Contributor Engagement Team and we're coming at you from the San Jose Convention Center where we're having our annual All Hands uh, Summit and we're going to talk with you a little bit about what we've been up to for the last couple weeks. Um, but first, I want to introduce William Kuviger, who is going to talk to you a little bit more about the meetup in San Paulo, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Exactly. So on September 3rd and 4th, the Brazil community organized the first ever countrywide community gathering in Sao Paulo. So it was two days of um, discussions, presentations, and brainstorms uh, about the future of the Brazil community and um, basically drafting a roadmap for the next six months. It was very productive. Uh, Chris Hoffman and myself attended, and we um, took some great pictures and videos. So uh, look out for that. I'll be publishing them on my blog. Also with us today, we have Gen Kanai or Paul Roger from the uh, Paul's from the developer team, and Gen Kanai is the director of uh, con contributor engagement for East Asia. Gen? Hi everyone, uh, I think this is my first time in the videos. I uh, just wanted to uh, introduce myself. Um, I work out of the Tokyo office and I cover <laughs> contributor engagement across uh, most of Asia uh, except for in Japan and China where we have dedicated teams. Uh, Paul is going to be kind enough to talk about uh, his experience at the uh, Taiwan open source event. Um, we're also supporting a number of other events across uh, Asia, including uh, bar camps uh, ac across Southeast Asia, including Singapore, uh, Cambodia, and a few others. Paul, can you talk a little bit about your experience uh, in Taiwan? Yeah, so uh, that was my first time in Asia, actually. And I met in Taipei, I met the Taiwanese community and we spent some time um, giving talks about HTML5 and about Firefox, about the future of, of Firefox. And so this community uh, mostly works on uh, open source events and open web events. So uh, it was actually very interesting to see all these people are working on promoting the open web and promoting free software. So yeah, so we've been spending this, this week like uh, spreading the word about the open web and I actually learn a lot as, as someone I've spent like the last 28 years living in the Western world, spending time there was like actually really eye-opening to, uh, you know, discovering how it works there. And I have to say it's very different and I love it really. How is the web used differently in Taiwan, did you, did you see? So, uh, obviously the main difference is all about the phones, mobile phones. And I, I believe that there people spend more time on, on browsing the web with web browsers. It's, it sounds strange, but we, we use a lot of apps, right? And, and I believe they have to spend less time using apps, more time using the web browser, and using On the, on the phone, you mean? On the phones, yeah, mostly about phones. Phones and tablets. And, and yeah, the, the behavior is different, and, and that, that makes you think about uh, how we should work on, on Firefox, how we should work on web apps, how we should work on HTML5 yes. because the usage is different, and, and there's a lot of people there. Okay, it's not like it's, it's not like one million people. It's like half of the planet, right? And they use the web in a different way. Yes. So yeah, like I said, it's eye open. Thank you very much, Paul. Um, that's Thanks, it. Paul. And we have a, a few more updates from contributor engagement. One of which, Mary Colvig wrote a great blog on uh, what's happened this summer with the team and new hires, uh, myself included, as well as a new contributor uh, for the newsletter, uh, Paul Booker. We also have Dave Eaves, who's doing a, an audit for the contributor lifecycle. And last, but certainly not least, we have the next community marketing call scheduled for September uh, Wednesday, September 21st at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye.